My name is Koji Sheldon. The head is big for a reason. Now, yesterday for Niger Twitter, then conversations started to pop up. People were confused. I said, ah, what kind of link up is this? Why is this particular artist at this place? Because it doesn't make sense. You understand? Like, no, no, no. This link up, then people never they expect them. Now, why are the rants like this? Yesterday, if you dare on Niger Twitter or even on Ghana Twitter, then we start to see videos and pictures of a certain artist's visit to the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. And, and this is a government institution in Nigeria, agency in Nigeria. They are responsible for the elimination of hard drugs in the system. So, and if you have been following the news recently, the way the youth, they abuse drugs, eh, it'd be my Boston. Like, recently, Scanty did a story where someone bought beans and poured benelin, like, cough syrup in the beans just to get high this thing is becoming unbecoming the generation now see if we don't take it on next 10 years i feel like this is like one of the scariest generation we have come across <laughs> i don't know where exactly they get the drugs from tramador and this thing has become rampant if we don't stop them where are you the beans then check they make so keys. People they take do so keys. People they take do a bar. And people would influence people to even try this. Someone can we pour this in your food because you are my friend. Oh, Charlie, how you they do one? Make a do some now. We need to be very, very thoughtful about stuff like this. And yes, I own. You give it two years, three years to come. No. Food and drugs board, yes, please. So according to this guy, he didn't know about it. They missed Cody. With his beans, there's a beans in the target market. For those of you who eat beans, this is your time to be very wary. You want to be higher than the most high? What kind of high? People are sniffing super glue. People are sniffing methane gas to get high. Why? Why do you want to be higher than the most high? So when you go to the National Drug uh, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, that my website, um, yes, they, they, they've started a campaign like hashtag say no to drug abuse. So Naira Mali paid, you know, a courtesy call to the authorities over there, took pictures. And in a video, he was seen saying, he said, or he was seen um, telling his fans said they should not do drugs. They should say no to drug abuse. Yeah, well, uh, my people, you know what it is. It's a boy Naira Mali. I would like to urge my fans, the Malians and all the Nigerian youth to stop doing drugs because it's not good for your well-being. Let's all stop substance abuse in any form. I've keyed into this campaign to support NDLA to stop drugs on the street. Please join us. It's really not good. It makes you go back into crime. It does a lot of things to you. Thank you very much. And people were like, mm, I hope that I'm who I think it is because Naira Mali no get moral grounds to come and stand here and tell us to stop abusing drugs because he is basically the one promoting it in his songs and on his social platforms. Once again, these are not my words. These are words where then they talk for social media. I am just re-echoing it to you people for presentation purposes. So then people were confused. People were confused. So, mm, Naramali, nah, nah, nah. Because if you have been following Naramali, I mean, he has hit songs like Sopi. For those who don't know Naramali, he is one of the biggest artists in Nigeria. He is responsible for some of the hit songs um, in the, you know, in the system. What do I say? He ha I mean, this song, Sopi, crazy. And he is known to be to be an explicit person. He doesn't care. He He's seen, he, you go, if you go on, you, you on his Instagram or on Twitter, you will see say he's openly smoking, drinking syrup, whatnot. So all these things where he, he inform people that my, you know, assertions and narratives. Now nah, this this no make sense. Now nah, Mali no get any ground that people are basically calling the you know the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency as calling them name. If Tonto DK came out to say they are on serious for using Naira Mali for this particular campaign. But hear me out. Listen. Naramali is one of the biggest artists in Nigeria. He is seen as the voice of the street. When he talks or when he speaks, the street listens to him. I've seen a documentary of him, like, bro, on the, on the street. And the way people were trooping to come and see him, like the kind of, the kind of pool he has on the street. He's seen as like the street kind of person. The street go feel relate to him. So if they are using him as a conduit to deliver a message, I don't think there is some, I don't think it is wrong. 
My only issue here is how the deliverables, the execution. Now, Naramali is always seen in video smoking, you know. I don't know if it's weed or cigarette, but the syrup, everything, promoting, you know, substance uh, usage or abusing his song. So how the deliverables go there, like, is he going to st uh, stop smoking weed in, in, in his music video? Is he going to stop singing about, you know, the hard drugs or, you know, the, the syrups and things in his songs? Is he going to stop uh, posting videos of himself smoking? Is he going to prevent, I mean, is he going to try to prevent the people around him from, you know, appearing in limelight smoking and all these things? What are the dynamics like? That is what I am interested in. Because he got to stand there and just do a video and say, say, oh, uh, do not smoke weed. Uh, say no to drug abuse, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, bro, it will take more than that to have that kind of effect on the minds or in the minds of people. So the uh, the performative uh, action we happened yesterday, there, yeah, fine. But the deliverables, how how is the message going to be delivered? And for how long? Because people are threatened to sue the uh, National Drug Law Enforcement Agency if they see a video of Naira Mali smoking. So that is what is happening. People are confused. But I feel like we we'll forgive him a chance. Listen, you go, see, you go, if you go south, you go, if you go north, you go, if you go east, you go, if you go west. Because this particular personality, bro, he's unpredictable. He is going to live his life regardless. Someone even said, say, they are going to pay him money uh, to, to spearhead this campaign. And the money that they will give to him, he's going to use it to buy hard drugs. <laughs> and there are some people too with argument that he, he, he's had an issue with EFCC. At some point, he was arrested. So people are saying, say, they are basically offering him this deal to, you know, lighten the situation to reduce, you know, the case is still in court. So maybe then it just be some butter conversation or butter something that is going to happen. But in the end, I feel like, you know, we should give him a chance. We should, we should, we should trust him to, to deliver whatever message the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency is trying to put across. Because listen, the substance abuse, the drug abuse in the system is crazy, bro. And this is not even about the street. The elites, they are abusing drugs. And they, they are not even doing the crack, bro. People are abusing drugs. And the fact that the, the drugs do the system. Circulating, you understand? Circulating in the system. It means the, the, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agents, they have failed. Bro, the abuse of drug, drugs, it be crazy. Yo. The youth, bro. Balloon. Hey, why? What do you want in life? So I don't know where this thing will end. I don't know the impact it will have. But at the end of the day, if you go effect some change in the system, it will be me. Because the people when they listen to music, you know, some of them are involved in some of these things. So if they are trying to use him, is he going to create songs? Is he going to, you know, spearhead campaigns like video campaigns like in this country where artists, you know, create songs about, you know, um, drug abuse and encourage people in their songs to uh, not to you know the music for social cause is that what is going to happen if that is what is going to happen i do not have a problem because i have seen what drugs have done to people and i wouldn't encourage people to be in that space i wouldn't wish it on anyone so then at naramali situation there i understand people them are frustration over the whole appointment because honestly yes bro if you know naira mali you know what we are talking about he does not give a hoot about anything and this is not something like it's not like i'm trying to paint him as a bad person bro you know naira mali is there any day you don't smoke weed yes is that sunday every day now I'm asking, is there any day you don't smoke weed? I was saying, I don't smoke weed every day. I don't smoke weed. Weed? I don't. I don't. Weed? At all? No. No, I mean, like, I haven't smoked weed today. It's still early. Okay. Do you smoke weed? No. No. <laughs> so what do you smoke then? Loud. Ah, okay. I see. Okay. And what does it do for you? Tell me what it does for you. Um... What does what do you mean loud? Yeah. 
What does it do for you? Oh fuck! It gets me high, obviously. What the hell? Mm -hmm. So when you're high, what 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 happens then? Um, I get what does what happen? I get high. No, I don't know because I don't get high, so I don't know. When I'm high, mm -hmm. what happens is that I get high. So is it a means to an end? So let's 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 examine that high. What do you do with the high? Do you get in the studio? Do you have sex? What do you do? I get in the studio, I have mm -hmm. sex, I go to interviews. You go to interviews? Yes. I see. <laughs> this is why, that is why Nigerians, some Nigerians are angry at the fact. Someone even thought it was a skit. Uh, bro, is this a skit? What is happening here? Some didn't believe. They said, no, this is like, a, uh, you know, in Ghana, we have this um, look-alike version. Someone said it's a look-alike version of the Naramali. It's not Naramali. But hear me out, bro. Let us give him a chance to spear this campaign. Let us see how serious the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency. And this is not a geographically specific um, co conversation or situation. In Ghana, the youth, they are abusing drugs. So maybe the musicians, like Stoneboy um, did the song about the Galam City. Maybe you have the audience. People listen to you. The youth always they tap in. At some point, maybe you have to use your platform to highlight some of these things, the ills, the, the effects, what this thing they bring to people. So say the youth go, you know, then go eat. We are we are we are all supposed to be part of the conversation because the drug abuse be too much. Oh, how you the poor Belen Belen said, bro. Syrup, then in a drink come. Just high. I've seen videos of people. They, they just. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. So, me, dear, um, I don't have a pro I, I feel like it's something that we should encourage more artists to be doing, especially. You see, at the Nam the Nam. Person where he did the system is like, he go know what he go say to him. People make them stop. So, let us hope and see if this thing would yield any result. But at the end of the day, um, it is what it is, and say no to drug and substance abuse because, bro, AIA, bro, AIA, bro, AIA, AIA. My name is Kuju Sheldon, and this video uh, was brought to you by what? Bit Africa. Download the Bit Africa app and use it to trade your Bitcoin. Dingo this, I'm out.